Hello there, and welcome to another Children's Storytime Classics. Today we're going to read a little book. Uh, it's from 1953, and the illustrations are from 1957, interestingly enough. So, it's called The Cow Who Fell in the Canal by Phyllis Krasilovsky and illustrated by Peter Spire. Henrika was an unhappy cow. She lived on a farm in Holland, where it is very flat. All summer long she ate grass. All winter long she ate hay. All winter and all summer she did nothing but eat. And she gave milk to Mr. Hofstra, the farmer. Mr. Hofstra thought she was a fine cow because she gave such white, creamy milk. Eat, eat, Henrika, he would say. The more you eat, the more creamy white milk you can give me. Henrika loved Mr. Hofstra, so she ate more to please him, but she was unhappy. In front of the pasture was a road. Every day, Peter the horse came with a wagon to take Henrika's milk to the city. Peter told Henrika about the city. The streets are made of cobblestones, and the houses have staircases on the roofs. People ride bicycles, he said. Henrika wanted to see the wonderful things Peter was talking about. She was tired of looking at Mr. Hofstra's house, the barn, and the windmill. The windmill wore a little porch. It went round and round in the wind. It made Henrika dizzy. In the back of the pasture was a narrow canal. In the summertime, a man came through the canal with a boat to take Mr. Hofstra's cheese to the market. Henrika liked the boats. She thought it would be nice to ride in a boat to the market. Peter said the cheese sellers were, wore colored straw hats with ribbons. Henrika thought a colored hat would taste so good. Poor unhappy Henrika. She longed to see something beside the house, the barn, and the windmill. Instead, she ate and ate and ate, and she grew fat, and then fatter, and then very, very, very fat. She grew so fat that she could hardly move. She grew so fat that she could hardly see. One day, she went farther and farther along the pasture. She looked neither right nor left, for she had eyes only for the sweet grass, and before she knew it, she fell into the canal. The canal was not deep, but it was deep enough for Henrika to get all wet. She was too fat to climb out, so she just stood in the water and ate the grass along the bank. Mr. Ostra didn't know that Henrika was in the canal, because he was busy getting his cheese ready for market. Henrika was in the canal a long time. She ate so much grass that she became sleepy. But she couldn't sleep in the water. If only she could get back to the pasture. It was springtime and there were flowers to eat. She walked and walked along the edge of the canal eating grass when suddenly she came upon an old raft. She pushed and pushed and finally she fell on the raft and it drifted away from the bank. Henrika went floating down the canal. Past the pasture went Henrika, past the barn, the house, and the windmill, past the tulips, past the neighbor's barn, house, and windmill, past more tulips, past another barn, another house, another windmill, still more tulips, and still another windmill. Now Henrika wasn't too sleepy to open her eyes. There was so much to see on both sides of the canal. A whole row of houses with staircased roofs passed by. Then some children on the bicycles said, Look at the cow on the canal! and followed after on the road above the canal. Another row of staircased roofs passed by. Housewives were cleaning windows and scrubbing doorsteps. They laughed to see Henrika floating along. They too followed along the banks, laughing and exclaiming. Soon a whole flock of people were running, walking, or riding along the bank, following the raft in the canal. Henrika loved all the attention she was getting. She mooed with happiness. Suddenly the raft stopped, and two boys pulled Henrika to shore with a rope. Henrika broke away and ran down the street. 
It was hard to run on the cobblestone, but Henrika was enjoying the city at last. On and on through the street she went, with all the people following her. She looked into windows, she pranced into yards, she sniffed the bicycles. There was so much to see. Just as Henrika began to get a little tired, she arrived at a big square. Here were whole crowds of people. Here were men wearing colored straw hats with streamers. Here were balls of cheeses piled high. The market was just as Peter told her it would be, and the green straw hat tasted just as good as she thought it would be. Mr. Hofstra was there selling his cheeses too. Henrika, he cried when he saw her, I thought you were home in the pasture eating grass, not here eating hats. A hat is to wear. He was so surprised and everybody laughed at his bewilderment. Mr. Hofstra pushed Henrika into Peter's wagon and drove her home. After that day, Mr. Hofstra made certain that Henrika was safe in the pasture. Henrika didn't mind. Now she had so much to think about as she chewed the grass, looking so pretty in a colored straw hat with streamers. And that's the end. Thank you very much for listening. Have a wonderful day and please subscribe.